Okay, guys, the transistors finally came for this monitor that when I bought the game, <clears throat> he thought that the tube was dead. It is not dead. This is actually a different tube because I proved that the tube wasn't bad because I switched chassis and was able to get it to work. The problem with this chassis was is two of the three transistors were shot in the neck board. There are 3953 transistors. Only the green was working. So I ordered three, four transistors. I replaced all three and came up. I had to do a little bit of adjustment and it looks freaking awesome. So another really good monitor. I, it could stand to go a little bit wider. Unfortunately, the width is maxed out right now. Um, I think the only way to fix that is a width cap because this does not have a width coil. This is a newer style chassis and it does not have a width coil. So I'd have to figure out what capacitor in here runs the horizontal size so that I could swap it. Now, when swapping a transistor or a uh, cap, a capacitor to get your screen to go wider, let's say we'll use this number as a reference. We'll say that your capacitor is a 3953, okay? Well, in order to get this screen to go wider, you have to use a smaller number. So you'd have to, let's just say you go down to a 3800, okay? By putting a 3800 in place, your screen will get wider. If you put a 4100 in here, your screen would get even smaller. So keep that in mind. Um, it's a little out of adjustment from right to left here. Um, there is a remote board uh, which has a horizontal position uh, right here. So we can slide it back over a little bit. That's shaking a little bit because I'm touching it with my hands. So we can slide it back that way. And that's as far as I can get it to go that way. So it's got a little bit of tweaking that could use done to it. But um, I'm very happy to see that I got it up and running. Um, I also fixed a 4900 yesterday. Um, that looks good. So that's a good working 4900 that gave me hell. Now, I was sent this uh, Geo 7 chassis for free from Thomas from Florida, and um, it worked for a brief second and it quit. Um, and then I started literally getting sparks coming out from underneath the anode cup, shooting down to there. I think the tube is bad. I might be making a video later today doing a yoke swap to a different tube and putting that chassis on there and seeing if we can't get it to work. So stay tuned, I might do that tonight. I am gonna get back in the basement this week and start working on finishing up the um, Arabian. So thanks everybody.